the latest, and by that I mean the absolute greatest iPad Pro has eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM now, but Apple only wants iPad apps to use up to five gigabytes of that RAM in 2021 with M1. What the absolute f Sponsored by CuriosityStream with Nebula. Hit that subscribe button and bell and I will give you a cookie, a shiny emoji cookie. So the iPad is just fundamentally different from the Mac and we can tell by them having fundamentally different names and all. When the Mac comes under memory pressure, when too many apps are asking for too much RAM, more than what the system can happily provide, Mac OS starts to page out to disk, basically swapping bits back and forth from RAM to SSD as required. iPad OS, iOS has just no such concept of swap. It is completely, obliviously swapless. Back in the day, it just consumed too much power, wore down too much storage, and didn't provide that utterly instant experience that Apple demanded for the iPhone and then the iPad. So instead, when the iPad comes under memory pressure, when you do something in the foreground app that asks for more RAM than what the system's hardware can happily provide, iPad OS just does a jetsum. It just kicks, jettisons, yotes a background app or several, kills them just to watch them die in order to free up memory for the foreground apps. Now, the iPad non-air, non-pro, just nothing, may only have three gigabytes of RAM and cost barely over 300 bucks, but the iPad Pro can go up to eight, even 16 gigabytes of RAM and starts at 800 bucks. So why not just let it be all that it can be? And they do, kinda, sorta. It's less than ideal from a Mac point of view, but it works for the iPad because you can have multiple big apps in memory and keep them instantly responsive all at the same time. So like a rage baity poster type person can have Safari with a few tabs ready to repost and the socials or CMS open on the left and procreate with a bunch of layers going on the right. This video running picture in picture without dropping a frame on top of both of them and messages in slide over so they can trash talk what I'm saying right now to any friend or fellow poster who also doesn't happen to know or particularly care how the iPad actually works because it's just so damn lazy for clout traps. But I digress. With eight or 16 gigabytes, you can also multitask through a bunch of different apps, even big cross compiled games and data heavy social networks without having any of them relaunch or any Safari tabs reload, especially on the 16 gigabyte iPad Pro. It's just apps for days. And for the vast, vast majority of apps and workflows and the vast majority of people, not only won't the five gigabyte limit ever be an honest to jobs, actual real world type problem, but odds are you wouldn't even notice it, much less be irked by it, at least if people didn't publish first, research second, or never, which irks me, obviously. Just like Marquez says, never put up a number without context, never put up a what if you can't answer the why, and if you can't answer the why, strap on your research pants until you can. Now, for some very specific apps, you can absolutely hit that RAM limit, and hard. Apps like Procreate that can benefit from more layers, which do absolutely require more RAM. It's for those very few, but very specific types of apps that Apple has just now started testing a very new, very specific entitlement so that they can check system resources, see how much extra memory is currently available lying around, and then request and get more of that memory to use. And because someone who's working on a mountain of layers in Procreate is probably focused entirely on Procreate and not bouncing as much between other windows or apps, Apple's gonna let that foreground focused app just be super RAM thirsty, at least for as long as you stay focused on it. But the app has to be able to handle it when and if you do decide to bounce and start doing something else. And that memory being taken away as fast as it was given because iPadOS's priority is still and always making sure everything you do feels instantly, utterly responsive. So if you see a bunch of articles or tweets complaining about the RAM limit, just laugh and click out of them because they only cared about the what so far as they could rage bait you for monetization, not the why in order to provide you with actual value. But if you do see articles or tweets actually explaining it, even if they hate it, even if they suggest different limits or swapping Jetsum for swap, give them a read and some well-earned attention because they did their damn job and they gave you that value. And to help me do my damn job, check out Nebula. It's where I post all of my videos ad-free, sponsor-free, and many of them with extended bonus content. 
including originals that you can only get on Nebula, like Impact iPhone. There was no question that was a game changer phone. That was ahead of its time. We're gonna make some history together today. The iPhone really, I mean, it has changed, I mean, my life in so many ways. It was the keynote every Apple fan had always wanted Apple to deliver. Are you getting it? Steve was just obviously like a visionary and incredible. It was like CES was a distant memory. Everyone knew that we had never seen anything like this ever before. That's 100% going to be where everyone goes. And you can get it bundled in for free when you sign up with curiositystream.com slash Renee or just click the link in the description. And right now, because you watch this channel, it's 26% off, less than 15 bucks a year for all their thousands of amazing documentaries and series, like A World Without NASA, all about how the space agency has changed the Earth forever. Over 26% off, less than 15 bucks for the whole entire year. Just click the link in the description or go to curiositystream.com slash Ritchie, then go watch my original. Here's a deeper dive into new iPadOS features and also a video the YouTube algorithm thinks you'll enjoy even more. It's human versus machine. So let me know which one you picked and I'll see you in the next video.